Hello everyone and welcome back to another grocery haul. So this is just where I show you what we have picked up for the family for this week's meals and breakfasts and snacks and I've got a wee bit of cleaning stuff and wee extras this week um, so the price is a little bit more than usual but still pretty good. I think I got a lot of stuff for the money at the end. I'll share with you how much I spent this week. So as I said, yeah, I think it's been a pretty good one this week. I didn't need a lot of meat but there was some bits on offer so I picked those up. So I'll let you see what I got. In case, <clears throat> in case it's of any interest. Just get into it. So I'm going to start over here as always. Got these crispy skin on fries. I really highly recommend these. These are like a pound something. Um, as usual, I put the price on the screen for everything. But I really enjoyed these last week. We both really enjoyed them. So got more of those and they're brilliant in the air fryer. Got some more orange juice. I normally get this every second week because it lasts me. It's a really um, good value carton. I saw this and this is new, it's apple and elderflower, so I got that to try, get that in the fridge and get it all nice and cold. Some whole milk because we go through that so quickly, two lots of the butter, oops, what was this? things are just falling around in here. Uh, a big bag of the grated cheese, this is our favourite just now, it really melts quite good as well. Got two lots of cold meat, so I've got some roast pork loin just for a wee change, I actually might have that for my lunch just now, it's what time is it? It's 25 past three and I've not had my lunch yet. Uh, so I might have that on a wee bagel with some corned beef because Eliza loves corned beef and I don't normally buy stuff like this but I saw this and thought it would be nice with like crackers or something so I got a wee red pepper hummus and it was like 90p or something onto yogurts and things so I got these lemon cheesecakes I think I got a strawberry cheesecake a couple of weeks ago and they were really nice so I thought we would try the lemon one because the lemon cheesecake is lovely uh, two yogurts for me and Jamie a wee strawberry layered yogurt and a lemon yogurt I probably have one of those for my lunch today actually and yogurts for the kids. I just think these are really good value. So got those again. Uh, cheese and onion slices. That'll be handy for a wee lunch or something for even like Eliza or um, we could have it for a dinner with like beans one night. On to meat. So I didn't need a lot because I've got, I ran into Tesco during the week to grab, um, what was I going in for? I think it was the hot sauce I was going in for. Um, and there was turkey mince that was really reduced, it's like a pound or something. So I've got turkey mince in the freezer, I've got fish pie mix in the freezer, I've got a lot of wee bits and bobs in there, I just didn't need a lot, but I'm planning on making fajitas. And when I was putting all this out, I realised I forgot to pick up wraps. So I'm going to have to head out in a wee bit anyway in this horrible rain um, to pick up a parcel, so I might, while I'm in the shop, get wraps. So I've got some chicken to make, some chicken fajitas. I don't know what that big bit is on there, I think it's okay, but... Um, it's still in date until tomorrow and it's 30% off. I'll put the price on the screen how much it was but I'm probably going to portion this up and freeze um, freeze it and use the other half for fajitas. And these chicken wings as well were on offer, 30% um, off and these are like full price £1.50 or something. So that was a really good bargain and I've been dying to make hot wings in the air fryer and because I have this Frank's hot sauce, where is it? Um, maybe bet it's in the fridge. Do you want me to put it in the fridge? Uh, don't know where it is. Yeah, yeah, it was in the fridge. I don't know whether you keep it in the fridge or not, do you? Ah, it is. Keep refrigerated. Uh, so I think I'm going to make like some hot wings one night. Uh, what's the date? I might have to do that quicker because I don't really have room in the freezer to freeze these so I might have to do that tonight so let's see let's see what happens with those but hopefully some sort of crispy chicken wing situation will be coming up also got two lots of garlic bread as well these are like 30p or something like that so really good value and we just go through a lot of garlic bread so two lots of that I'm thinking of having steak and chips at the weekend for us so I was looking for fillet steak but I don't think I'll do fillet steak but I got two sirloins anyway and I think they'll be quite nice I should have got to get some sort of sauce but I might have one in already a wee peppercorn sauce or something but I could always just get one of them I also got some back bacon as well onto the fruit and veg got a pineapple some onions these lovely looking strawberries. This must be getting back into the time for strawberries now because I think they're looking really nice. Parsnips as well. Eliza really likes parsnips and a couple of leeks to make lentil soup. Some wonky blueberries, some sweet potato because I've already, I've still got some potatoes in from last week so I didn't need a lot and I've got a couple of baked potatoes in the freezer so sweet potatoes will do us. 
and they last for ages as well. Pack up the sweet peppers for the chicken fajitas. I've got some Granny Smith apples. I always see Donna from Donna and Duke buying Granny Smith apples, so I thought I'm going to try them. I think apples are really nice after they've been in the fridge, so I could maybe like cut those up um, and have it with like peanut butter or something like that as a wee snack. Like I don't really like giving apples to Eliza and Ollie just because I'm scared of them choking on it to be honest. I just think apples are quite hard um, but they love their strawberries and blueberries and bananas anyway so they're fine. Got some avocados, they last for ages in the fridge. More bananas, some flat mushrooms to have with the steaks and some tomatoes to have with the steaks as well. I'll probably just half those and fry them along with the mushroom. On to the cupboard and bits and bobs like that. Two lots of plum tomatoes because I was having a breakfast or dinner last night and I went to get some plum tomatoes out of the cupboard and didn't have any. So I got two lots of those. Some coconut milk because I've realised that that is just so handy to have in because a curry is the easiest thing you could ever make. And as long as you put coconut milk in, I suppose you can make it without coconut milk as well, but if you have a tin of coconut milk in, you know you could make a curry in an instant. Whether that be like if you've got some chicken breasts, you make a curry. If you've got some mints, you can make like a curried mints. Um, if you've got beef in, you can make a beef curry or a veggie curry. See, I've still got like, some courgettes and you can make like, a sweet potato and courgette curry or something like that if you've got coconut milk then basically if your cupboard stocked with things like this like you can kind of make a meal out of it. So I do like having things like that in. Got some Scottish porridge oats and I don't know whether it's a Scottish thing but growing up and you're probably going to be like ew <laughs> that's disgusting. I love porridge with loads of milk in it and quite a bit of salt. Yep, I said it. I have salt in my porridge. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I fancy like some sweet porridge with like peanut butter and like honey and blueberries, but sometimes I just crave that warming bowl of a traditional Scottish salty porridge. Sorry for you guys who are not into that kind of thing. Like my dad is English and he just didn't understand why I would do that. But to be fair, Jamie's not English and he doesn't understand why I do it either. So I don't know whether it's a Scottish thing or it's just a me thing, I don't know. But anyway, I don't know why I'm blabbing on about porridge, sorry about that. So I've got some olive oil. I have some orzo in and I love a wee orzo salad now and again and you need some olive oil for it. So I've got some of that but also needed it for cooking as well. Now this was like the bargain, right? This is 20p or something like that and I just thought that was brilliant save. Like we're having, um, didn't know what to make for lunch or something like that, or Jamie wanted to grab a quick, quick lunch. For 20p, I mean, we're saving a fortune, like not having to be in an office and going out for lunch and stuff, because you'd go to like Pre or M&S or Tesco and get like a meal deal, and it would be like a fiver. And you could actually, I don't know how you cook this, shove it in the microwave, 14 minutes in the microwave. Jeez, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting there, but I thought it was going to be quicker than that. But anyway, it's like, it's just savoury rice, 20p, and your lunch is sorted. And the same kind of thing with these as well, just for a quick lunch for Jamie. Um, a tomato and smoked bacon stir in pasta sauce. I was meaning to get these for absolutely just finally got them. <laughs> rice cakes for Eliza and Ollie, and I had to get more of these. I'm raving about these. Fraction of the price you'd pay for the branded one, honestly. See these as well. If you've ever tried Thai sweet chicken McCoy's, these are the exact same. Like, I don't care what anyone says, they're the exact same. And I wish they had a whole pack of just them because they're amazing. And they weren't out, I actually had to like lift a box underneath to try and find these again. But I'm glad I got them. Talking of snacks, I also got some of these little Snickers 99 calories. But I'm not sure how like satisfying they'll be if you feel like kind of like you want more after it. I don't know, but I'll let you know. I just thought they looked nice. Some Jaffa cakes, not bought these in ages because we had a lot of like Christmas chocolates and stuff like that left over uh, and I didn't really need, feel the need to buy any more biscuits and chocolate and stuff but we're kind of making our a dent in that now so I thought get some Jaffa cake. Now the last week, non-food items, I got a lot of like toilet cleaner stuff so I got a bathroom cleaner, some toilet gel, a couple of these little things, cloths, some household gloves, some wipes, toothpaste, some nappies, a massive bag of the toilet tissue, lots of the kitchen towel. So that obviously like puts the price up a wee bit. I'll put on the screen what I spent now. If you like these types of videos, please remember to subscribe, leave a wee like, and I will see you in my next video, which actually will be a 
weekly vlogs. I've started doing weekly vlogs now and they'll be up every Sunday at six o'clock, hopefully. <laughs> um, so I'll see you on Sunday. Uh, you'll see a lot of like behind the scenes of like me like our, making our meals and how we come up with making our meals and stuff like that. Um, probably, I mean, our life's not that interesting, so it won't be like, wow, this is amazing, but I just like watching videos like this and I'm going to share um, some more weekly vlogs going forward. So if you like that, make sure you are subscribed to check out that on Sunday. It'd be nice to see you over there as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.